Hello everyone, welcome back to Cracks for it. Today I am excited to introduce you with a new custom room that's making waves in the Android community, Rising OS. This room is actually a revised version of the well-known Rise Droid room. So I'm excited to see what new features and improvements are made in this room. So I have installed the very first build of Rising OS version 1.0 in my Redmi Note 8 device. So I'm going to share my experience with you in this video. So to start off Rising OS is based on Android version 13 and it comes with the Android security update of April 2023 and Mu kernel is used in this ROM. Overall I'm really excited to show you what this ROM can do. So without further ado let's start the video. User experience Let's dive into the user experience of Rising OS. I have to say I am thoroughly impressed with how buttery smooth and responsive this ROM is. Whether I am scrolling, swiping or tapping on the screen, everything feels incredibly fluid without any noticeable lags or delays. Even when I am accessing the quick settings panel, it feels really fast and snappy. As most of the Android 13 custom ROMs still struggling with QS panel lag, but this first build of Rising OS has come with the improvement and this is really impressive. And when it comes to opening and closing apps, it is also quick and responsive. I have been able to seamlessly switch between different apps without any noticeable slowdowns or hiccups. So what's your take on the user experience of Rising OS? Have you had a chance to try it out yet? Let me know in the comments below. Camera now let's talk about the camera this room comes equipped with the miy camera which is a great addition in my opinion one of the standout features of this camera app is the availability of 48 megapixel mode which takes some really stunning shots but it's not just about the megapixels the portrait mode is also really impressive and i am happy to report that every mode on this camera works like a charm auto call recording Another feature that I really appreciate about Rising OS is the ability to automatically record phone calls. It's rare to find a custom room that includes Google Play Store along with auto call recording feature, which can be really useful for a variety of purposes. Whether you are conducting business calls or simply want to keep a record of a personal conversation and this feature works seamlessly without any annoying recording announcement or distractions during the recording process. Google Photo Storage if you're someone who loves to capture and store memories through photos and videos, you'll be happy to know that Rising OS has got you covered. This room offers unlimited Google photo storage, which means you can upload as many photos and videos as you want on Google Photos app without worrying about running out of storage. Quick settings. When it comes to the quick setting panel, Rising OS really signs. I was impressed by how smooth and responsive the panel is with almost no lag or stuttering while swiping down. It is refreshing to see a ROM that has tackled the QS panel lag problem that many other Android 13 custom ROMs are still struggling with. While Rising OS does not offer a huge variety of tiles in its quick settings, the ones that are included are definitely useful. You will find tiles for things like extra dim, QR code scanning, screen saver and dark theme and the best part is all of these styles work flawlessly without any glitches or issues wallpaper and style when i explored the wallpaper and style section of rising OS, i was impressed by the attention to detail and the thoughtful implementation of new features in addition to the standard pre-installed wallpapers rising OS also offers the option to choose from five different multicolor gradient wallpapers while this is a feature that is now becoming more common on custom rooms, I appreciate the fresh and modern touch it brings to Rising OS. Another notable feature in the wallpaper and style section is the ability to customize the lock screen footer section without shortcut icons. This feature is accessible through the shortcut options and allows you to select which icon appears on both the left and right sides of the lock screen footer. It's a small but practical addition that can save time for users who frequently access specific apps or functions. Safety net status. When it comes to the safety net status, this room has successfully passed the safety net compatibility test, which is an important aspect for those who rely on apps that require safety net to function properly. Moreover, this room is also certified by Google Play Protection Certification, ensuring that it meets the safety and security standards set by Google. Launcher 
When it comes to the launcher of Rising OS, it comes pre-installed with Ortos launcher, which may be unfamiliar to some users. However, Ortos launcher offers plenty of customization options to make your device truly your own. For example, within the launcher's home setting, you can enable a torch shake gesture option, which activates the flashlight with a simple shake of your phone. Another interesting feature is the option to clear all apps from the recent app section by simply shaking your phone rather than manually tapping on the clear all button. The miscellaneous settings section of the launcher also provides several useful options including the ability to use a taskbar enabling haptic feedback on recent app scroll and the ability to hide and protect apps for added security. Overall, the Ortos launcher offers a smooth and feature-rich experience for users who like to customize their device. Customizations Now let's take a deeper look at the customizations that are available in the Rising OS. For those who enjoy customizing their devices, you will be pleased to know that this ROM offers tons of customization options on different sections of your device. You will find a separate personalization section which is like a customization hub for this ROM. From the lock screen setting, you can change the lock screen font style, date style and even customize their colors. There are up to 46 different clock styles for the lock screen and all of them are impressive. You can also customize dates in up to 46 different styles which is a rarity in other custom rooms. In the miscellaneous section you will find many useful features such as game space which includes parallel space, smart charging, weather settings, unlock higher FPS in games, Netflix spoof and many other useful features that will enhance your user experience. You will also get a user interface section where you can make many changes. For instance, you can play with colors from Monet settings and apply your desired custom color for the accent and background colors. Additionally, you will get 11 different quick setting styles to apply and use on your phone. And all of them are different from each other. Similarly, you can change and customize the about phone styles and setting styles to many different options. So from the customizations that I have showcased, you may have gotten a rough idea of how many customizations are available in this room. However, these are just a glimpse of what is available. I encourage you to explore all the customizations options yourself as they will amaze you. Moving outside of the personalization section, there are other useful settings to explore. The network and internet settings provide options to use private DNS. And the good thing is that custom DNS providers are also available. This is useful for those who want to enhance their privacy and security. From the battery setting, you will find a similar battery bar animation like on Project Alexander Room, which we reviewed yesterday. Additionally, it has a view uses from past 24 hours option along with a battery saver feature. And inside the battery saver, you'll find an extreme battery saver option. I must mention that I was really impressed by the battery backup of this room and I'm sure you'll be amazed too. In the security setting, you'll get a face unlock option along with an app lock feature. To use the app lock feature, you need to set up a screen lock first. And as I have already shown you, you can also hide and lock apps from the launcher home setting. Antutu Benchmark Score Moving on to the performance aspect, we can evaluate it through the Antutu Benchmark Score. After running the test, this score obtained is below 2 lakhs, which I don't consider a good score for this phone. While the score may not be up to par, it's important to keep in mind that benchmark scores do not necessarily reflect real old performance. In terms of gaming, I cannot provide a first-hand review as I do not engage in gaming. However, the lower Antutu score could suggest a less than optimal gaming experience. Conclusion In conclusion, I must say that the initial build of Rising OS has impressed me with its smoothness, stability and remarkable battery backup. It's evident that the developers have put a lot of effort into making this ROM. Using this ROM has been a delightful experience for me as it ticks all the essential boxes that I like for in a custom ROM. The smooth user interface, MIUI camera, quick setting panel with almost no lags on Android 13 and tons of customization options are all features that I appreciate. Additionally, the ROM has proven to be very stable and I have not encountered any significant bugs during my uses. Although the Antutu benchmark score was below my expectations, overall the user experience is still impressive. 
and I am eager to see what the developers have in store for future updates. Overall, I highly recommend giving Ryzen OS a try. It offers a pleasant user experience and impressive customizations that will enhance your smartphone uses. If you have any personal thoughts and experience with this ROM, then please feel free to comment down below. And thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like our video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video, and subscribe to Cracks. So it also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.